Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Old World Blues, in which we're playing as that beautiful Legion. So, right now we have an event on screen. I think I might have read this last time, but regardless, a detachment of our militia has found the hideout where the br brigades or brigands have sat down to plan their next attack. They were swiftly apprehended after a small skirmish. Unfortunately, a few brave soldiers and their sergeant Jeremy were fatally wounded. Despite these losses, faith in our protection has been restored. We also found enough caps to buy a Jeremy sized golden statue. Worth saving. Cool. 10% stability. Nice. And manpower back. And some coins? Don't mind if we do. We got a couple commons to get through, but we gotta prepare for the battle for Hoover Dam. Which sounds kind of interesting, which we'll send Malpaius Luggett to, which... We got some comments, which I just said. Ooh. Regardless, my mind is kind of wandering as I'm recording this, so we'll see what happens. Uh, Volpus is glorious, Aureus is glorious. The two that we don't really want to be too glorious, well, they're pretty darn glorious. So, the first comment. Uh, actually, multiples of the comment that I got was, Play as the Mojave Chapter. Well, they're gone now. But yes, I will eventually play as Mojave Chapter. Ooh, I can't really hear the music too much. No, I can't. Cool. Uh, but yeah, I will play. I promise I will play as Mojave ch Chapter. I, I pretty much am going to play every single nation in, in Old World Blues. As long as they have unique focusry. And even then, I still might play as them. If, even if they don't. But regardless. We can go to war with the Tohono Nation. Because, well, we can. Because the Legion is bestest. And, yes, go ahead and do that, go and do that, give them a few days before we go to war with them, we got some salvaged motorcycles, yes please, some stuff is a little bit ahead of time, what else do we have here, ooh, that's .26 years ahead of time, so let's grab some plant cultivation. Someone said, or recommended from the last video, that I should have accepted the followers of the apocalypse into our lands, just because that might have helped with Kaisar, that could have, but nothing's happened. Gunrunners and Flagstaff. Van Griffs. Now, I don't know what the Van Graffs do. It's the Van Griffs. The, it's the Van Graffs. I want to go maybe get the Gun Runners just because. Hola, girls. Hola, hola, girls. Ooh. We might be able to buy more guns eventually. We could subsidize people and invest stimulus in Flagstaff. Do we really need more weaponry, though? Probably not. Van Graffs. I forget what they do. Ooh. Maybe. Also, there's another comment from this thing yesterday from Wilkie. Or the Wilkie spot, whatever it was. Yeah, Wilkie up. That I had selected it so that we could do stuff here. So, I, I understood that almost as soon as I said that. Like, you had to click on this and then we can build stuff there. Which would be, which is really cool actually. Very, very awesome. I love the interaction that we have. Ooh, but with 100 political power, what do we do? Hmm. Confareatio. Looks not bad. Kaiser's Hound. Speed Demon. Head Trader. Head Trader. Do we have two Head Traders? Recruit the Rossi family. Hire Dale Barton. I'll be down here. Cultural Advisor. Oh yeah, we have that stuff. We have that stuff. We have Ruler Support, so we might get that one. We probably eventually will. But Dogs of War. War Shaman. Recovery rate's not bad. Attrition goes down. Motorized Vehicles. We might get that just because we do have, you know, motorcycles. And we have you 2 Hmm. There's nothing really here that says yes. You have to grab this. I am thinking outside of battalions, because I want to get more non-core manpower and more daily compliance. But, let's see. Navajo, no, silversmiths, we might as well do that. Let's go and welcome the silversmiths. Unlocking a new business. Does that actually unlock stuff for some flax stuff here? Mm, establish organizations. We have no organizations yet. I'm sorry, I'm taking a while with this. Organization marketplace. Chop shop, of course, we can buy stuff for money. Do we need more scrap motorcycles for now? No. Salvage cars. Oh, wow. There's actually an increase in price in terms of technology, too. Minimum of opinion, 2030. Wow. Cool. Regardless, um, let's not waste any more time and go to war with these. Eh, give it a few days. The next up, two sons is already under us. I do want to go to war with Gentle Del Sol. Who else is in our faction? The reservation is not. They're led by William Clark, or Willem Clark. Well, do we have them in our focus tree? Do we get a free focus against them maybe eventually? Maybe? Reservation. Not found. If they're not found, I'm not sure we can... We should go to war them or not. Powerful new schools. No, 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 no. Anyone else we can go to war with? Maybe dead horses? Let them come in and circle them, destroy them? Maybe Genta. Really, maybe Genta. Generalissimo. We have... Good relations. Actually, can I invite you to the Legion? They will not accept. Because I remember this down here. Our son of a gun. Hmm. I just want to go... Oh, Los Granjas is probably where we wanted to go next to, so... 
Oh, there goes a TAA. Can I justify on you guys? I might as well try to, right? I'm gonna cost more political power, of course, don't get me wrong. Ooh, I'm getting more manpower back, too? Is that new month? Oh, it must be new month. 71 people a month, that's not bad. Alright. Ooh, we don't need to call our guys into the war. And do we have any planes yet? Maybe. Hey, we got some gliders, that's nice. And perhaps some payload gliders. Eventually we want both to be 100, but of course we'll see what happens. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, you're basically Cass, in which I will throw both of you right on our special forces, because I like special forces quite a bit. Cool. I don't foresee too many problems with this, so... Rebirth of the Principes Doctrine. The Great Chamber. Ooh, motorized, get more soft attack, speed, APCs get more stuff too. Return of the Chariots, Tribal Pride. Will faster becomes a unit leader. Arms workshops, outposts, vehicle technology, and modify two sons' clients by more speed. Oh. Tip of the spear. We get Centurions, the worthy few. An arms workshop, and ever evolving. I like that a lot. Navajo Pathfinders. We do want to rush down here as fast as possible, though, just so we can do the Malpias Luggets. Focuses so we can get him to be hopefully more glorious, which I made a mistake in the last episode. I forgot because I'm, I'm somewhat forgetful. By the time I record some some videos, I'm kind of forgetful. The Malpai Slugget and Joshua Graham are the same guy. My bad. My bad. Navajo Markets. The markets of the Navajo are rich in Brahmin hide, silver, wool, and other staples. We will both benefit if we promote them. Cool. So yeah. Malpai Slugget. Same dude as Grammy Boy. And of course, Kaiser is also known as Edward Salo. Solo. Not Swallow. Solo. We lost one dude. I hope they're going to get paid soon. God, I need more slaves. And actually, with us conquering uh, these guys, we might be able to actually get more slaves. So, let's hope so. And I'm not doing this yet, because, as it says, so the outcomes of these decisions are influenced by research technologies. So let's wait a little bit. Oh, begin scavenging program. It's only 10. Why not? Uh, launch a slave raid against others. Well, eventually. Send slaves to workshops. Oh, let's see. Fuzzy dice. Business favor. Sell war bonds. That's kind of cool. Go ahead and just directly annex them. Well, this is one of the first nations that will actually, like, integrate eventually. So, more divisions. Don't mind if we do. It does cost us a little bit more, but that's okay. Ooh, new citizen's care package. Not bad. I like the stimulus one, though. Military signing bonuses. You know what? We got enough money. Let's do the Van Graffs, just because we can. Cool. Ooh, construct slunkers, saves the cause, launch a slave raid. So where can we send one? Nowhere. Ten signs. El Malpais. Dry Wells. Blackfoot. Hmm. El Terrio. I'm going to send my guys over there for now until we have to go to start a war for the dam. Wait, who Oh, what can we do down here? Oh, this, oh yeah, definitely. More captain come, less consumer goods. That's why I got them. And that's really nice, it's only that much. Flagstaff can be leveled up. Great, might as well, right? 10.5 thousand development value. Hopefully we get more money that way then. We got a few more slaves. Ooh, slaves to the cause. The Navajo markets, great. Grant the Navajo exemptions. We will do this later on. The Navajo Industrial Integration. Furthering Navajo's integration into the Arizona and New Mexican economy will only promote their reliance on the Legion. So, basically, we get faster construction speed for military and civilian factories, more consumer goods, more resource efficiency gain, even though it does cost more to convert factories, but I never choose that. I literally have never ch probably chosen that. Probably. Like, even in my own personal time, I never really found it to be too worth it. Ooh. Oh, yeah, you guys are just kind of hanging out there, down there. You know, just in case. Oh, actually, no. We want to go down to... Actually, is there anything for Gila, Pen, Penacat, Penacate, or Yuma? Let's see. I'm not seeing any of these. South Phoenix, New Cortez, Red Mesa. Can we... Where there's a whip, there's a way. Can we use that for non-core territory? I don't think so. Maybe not. Hmm. Construct bunkers. Send slaves to workshops. Use slaves to build roads. Enslave... Page is not a core. Huh. Well, regardless. Maybe we'll find it in there. Maybe we won't. Flamers? Sounds like fun. All these are kind of ahead of time. Logistics are nice. Air doctrine. Well, yeah. Hmm. 
Specialized doctrine. Actually, actually, there's another comment saying, what is outsider warfare? It's for super mutants, as we saw yesterday. That'd be pretty good. And I, I'm really glad they actually have their own focus tree. Let's grab some special forces expansion. I'm really glad super mutants have their own... No, it's not a focus tree, but doctrine for, well, themselves. That's actually really good. So I might actually play the troll warren again relatively soon. Because, hey, maybe embrace it. Use it, right? I don't see anything down here. Apache 3 Road. Tato 2 do. Yeah, these are all cores, it looks like. Twin Mothers Claim Jumpers. Wow, how are you expanding so well? Y'all kind of crazy. Industrial Support. Zuni. Drywalls. Old Sons. Nosebreaker. Baldy Peaky. Yeah, I don't see it here. So that sucks. Mm, we can build roads against Zuni. Hey, look, Division. We are starting to run out of manpower. Maybe we want to save our political power up a little bit more. Do we have enough equipment? Yeah, we do have enough equipment. Industrial integration. The Navajo riches. To further enrich our Navajo allies and possibly gain more from their teeth as well, we should work with them as allies. It seems like that for the longest time they've been trying to gain access to the Colorado River, blocked by degenerates and prolificates. We should clear them and give it to them as a gift to our friends. Or as a gift. Hmm. Demo equipment, looking nice. Amphitry equipment, looking nice. Support equipment, looking not too bad. From Atari, I love you, but we don't really need you for now. You guys looking not too bad. Fire team doggos. Are we making doggos? We should make some doggos. But first, some other things. Ah, go and grab some public projects. In which ooh, we got even more here. What do we do? Cool talkers. Oh yeah, we got the hundred political power. Uh, lift taxes on luxury goods. Oh wow, military signing bonuses. More weekly manpower. It's not bad. Not great, but not bad. Mm, less resistance. That is really not bad. Record them even faster if we really wanted to. But I like doing this stuff. It's kind of fun. Reservation. Mm, subsidize Navajo. Does that. Can we only do that once? Or can we can do that multiple times. They're unruly. Well. Bottle cap with Legion Denaris. The co talkers. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. If we subsidize them once, can we do that again later on, maybe? Because we want to help them out. 134. They might rebel if we get too uppity with them. But that's okay. Pecos Colony. Weren't Pecos Colony green before? Did you change? Sheila Bowen? Bowen? You're looking a little different here. Which is not a bad thing. Just, you look a little different than what I remember from you. Cool. I'm sorry I'm taking a while with all this stuff because this is still relatively new to me. Ooh, we have a, around 100 days left. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Plenty of naval XP, though. Yeah, doggos, doggos, doggos. Production. There you are. That's what I like to see. Get some three Legion dogs. Hounds of Day to play one in the Black Canyon. Navajo's lands. Let's go back down to one. Let's get that going for now. Since the Great War, the Navajo have sought to make use of the Colorado River, but raiders have hindered their access. We can work to divert the river, the river to the Navajo, who can use it for farming, or they can use it to further industrial development, exploiting the coal mines to promote its industry. Let us crush the raiders and divert the river. Restart the coal mines. Well... Divert the river, river for farming or industry development. Old coal mines. I don't want to really divert the river. Oh, well. We will divert it the river regardless. We want more farmers or we want more industrial development? Hmm. I mean, we could become a breadbasket. Let's, let's restart the coal mines. We'll see what happens. And, now this is going to really piss them off. Because we do need to get some glory down here. So, the way of the land. For far too long, Naval has been allowed to circumvent our rule on advanced technology without a, without a thought. No more. We shall deal with them and show them no territory the Legion will ignore its doctrine unpunished. All that is left is to see how to go about it. Dealing with Nade. Nadene. This is getting me a little worried here, not going to lie. Hmm. Decimation, so we're actually going to lose manpower. Go figure. And wedge formations. But 15% breakthrough. Good lord, that's so much. The Legend of the Butcher. Lanius has returned to us, if only for a while. He went to the Apache. He besieged Roswell. He crossed vault and the Apache fell and Roswell was sucked. And the vaults were broken. This is a great day for the Legion, and if some of Kaiser's followers are concerned about the Eastern Cohort, well, Kaiser will keep him in line, as long as he lives. Remember, you are mortal. Replace loot from the East with the Triumph of New Mexico. Oh, that sounds awesome. Keep it up, dudes. Oh, we can't actually do this, because we only have Settler Construction Tech. Or we don't have Settler Construction Tech. Now that is wonky. What the heck? Infantry, aircraft, industry. Huh. 
Electronics. Oh, construction. There it is. White legs and tar walkers. Cool. Gotta take a sip of water there. Let's see. So it also recommends I play, of course, Mojave Chapter, but as well as the Hang Dogs, which they look gone now. So still plays them. Well, I probably will eventually. Like, don't worry, guys. Like, eventually, I am going to be playing pretty much just every single nation in Old World Blue. So, oh, that's as nice and all, but I still would like a few more military factories or civilian factories too. The reclamation authority. If you would like to read that, go right ahead. But that happens every campaign when we actually do that. We got a lot of ways to cover against NCR and their territories. Hmm. I want to enslave more subjects. But we can't do that right now. Regulated shack markets, huh? Slaves to the cause. Sure, why not? Cool. So I, I imagine if you have too many slaves, that they could form a rebellion eventually. Let's scavenge the vehicles too. That would not be very good. They're unruly, which is not good. The ways of Navajo clash with the much of the Legion's teachings. The Navajo skinwalkers clash with the Frumentari as their reliance on Pip-Boys, Stimpaks, and stealth equipment are a stark contrast to the Legion's disdain of machines and medicine. How Moreover, the Navajo bans slave trading and act as a buffer between the Legion and the tribes to the north. Kaiser has come up with a new plan to soothe the troubled waters of the Navajo by sending an emissary. Praetorian Lucius has offered to go north with gifts of Mexican cotton and New Mexican silver. Offering to promise Kaiser will... Continue to respect the Navajo. Malpias Legate would simply march a cohort north to, to New Navajo. P peace be with you? Fear will keep them in line. <laughs> oh, God, you know fear will keep them in line. In which way, we will do that. However, we want to make sure that the Navajo actually appreciate us. Because if we do this, the Navajo will know we cannot be trusted. Malpias will gain glory. Let's immediately do this one just in case. So that they appreciate us some more. We can exempt the Navajo from some of their tribute demands in exchange for greater loyalty. Hooray. So let's keep an eye on this. And actually, right now, we have 100 political power. Hmm. What's a compliance game for right now? It's actually not that bad. It's actually not that bad at all. It's actually going up more and more and more. So let's not do that one. Just go ahead and do the code talkers. More encryption. Cool. Time to go on because I want to keep an eye on this. 11 days, 69. Nice, but still. If that's the case, I might divert my soldiers away. I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen. I'm sure we won't actually get into an actual war with the NCR, but well, it's best to be ready. And I don't mind using all of you guys at once for that. Oh! My bad, I forgot to click that. I forgot how Old World Blues moves so quickly. So, I will be right back. Alright, everyone, sorry about that, but we've got this, and I want to make sure we actually get... Glory for Malpias, and they know we can't really be trusted, but my apologies about that. So right now, they are unruly. Whatever! It happens! So we really didn't lose any anything of much of it, anything at all. My words keep tumbling over my speech, and my apologies for that once again. And once we get that done, next up... Oh, we can... See, there we go. We can do the Legacy, Legates Glory. So we get AT Rifle Mastery. So when you launch a border war for the dam, you get a 10% attack bonus. Let's do that immediately because, well, I think we're running out of time with the whole thing there. So the Malpias Legate will strike in the name of the Legion and drive the degenerates back to Shady Sands. The Mojave Territory's survivors can rebuild the roads in the east if they are lucky. Which we should be able to do that very, very, very soon. And... Oh, there goes the Tar Walkers. Come on. Boom. Hopefully we have enough days for this. Do we have enough days? Please don't we have enough days. 40, 41 days. Okay, we got enough time for that. Good. And also, I did shift some soldiers over. Let's see you. Just go where we need to be. And I have shifted soldiers over close to the NCR, just in case. So, And you guys are over here, too. So that's pretty good. And before we actually go to war with those guys, let's see. Just make two for now, because we don't have that much manpower. we got to save up manpower now. Unfortunate, unfortunate, I know. Not bad. Support we got enough. This... I really want some doggos on these guys. Even more recon would be nice, but recon itself is okay. That's okay. Legionary. Ooh. Fire teams. We need some field hospitals on these guys. A little more soft attack. Ooh, that, that would kill off our manpower right now if we did that. Hmm. I'm pretty sure that would. Hmm. Business favors. Hmm. I can bet you those 41 is not bad. How much compliance do we get every day? 0.41, let's see. 0.7, we get about 0.3-ish. 0.25-ish every day, so that's not bad. 
Malpius and the Old World Wall. Business favor, meh. How many slaves do we have? 0.10k. Not enough, obviously. And if we gotta use our guys, I wanna make sure that they're the, the, the best possible. So, let's start doing some Ranger Mountain training. I think that'd be pretty decent. It uses up a lot of army XP, but whatever. Actually, can we raise our conscription level? We have to be at war for that. Okay. We are at 3%. We actually get more mobilization speed if we do that. More war support. We lose division attack and defense. And offensive war penalty stability modifier. Ooh. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Nice. So let's save up our political power because we might go to war eventually. Soonish. 18. Rivalry. Nice. The Navajo will appreciate this. Well, let's make sure the Navajo kind of like us a little bit more. Probably North Phoenix Development. Level up the tr Phoenix Trade Node. That sounds pretty good. I think we'll save that, though, for when it's actually really, really developed. So it makes it easier for us to develop later on. The NPP... No, not NPP. This is not TNO. It's not political parties. The NNP Restoration. And then we'll do the Window Rock Restoration. And then we'll come back in this way as well. The NNP, rest NNP Restoration. The Navajo Nation Partnership was an agreement to provide the Navajo with irrigation from the rivers of the Southwest. We can fulfill this by using... Uh, the labor of the prolificates who fell to the legion. Perfect. Everything's working out, right? Well, enough. If I have to, I don't mind doing that. Uh, if you want to read about the scavenger strife, go right ahead. A mighty step into the future. Hey, we can actually H&H &H tool schematics. That's actually really cool. They're right there. And, oh my gosh! 20% more civilian. Oh! I lied. I'm going to get that one first. 20%. Oh, build, 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 build. Actually, we're doing pretty darn well for ourselves right now, I'd say. We need, of course, we need to use more doggos. 15% more breakthrough. That's so good. More defense, more soft attack, and hard attack for walking infantry. Uh, I don't think that's any special unit. That's just infantry, right? Yeah. Uh, the bridge across the divide, the Hoover Dam, a great hulking slab of concrete towering above the Colorado River, which gushes like through its long, silent turbines and overflows. We first heard about the dam from those of the Twisted Hairs that joined our legion, though they dismissed it as a lifeless and broken. It seems in the years since they last visited it, a lot has changed. Recent scouts, under direct orders from Kaiser, have observed a significant buildup of military forces and the remarkable resumption of power production. Most of this power appears to be diverted west to the entity known as the New California Republic, but some seemed to be going to what was once Las Vegas, now an illuminated jewel in the desolate Mojave wasteland. <clears throat> While masses of power and old world technology are of little concern to the Legion, as vast as mobile as we are, the Hoover Dam holds something much, import much more important for Kaiser. The keys to the Mojave. <clears throat> Only by seizing and holding it we will be able to spill west in great numbers. If we hold the dam, we can see the Mojave and march for Vegas. Kaiser will at least, at last, have his Rome. Malpius will lead. There must be no delay. In five days, the Malpius Legate will lead an attack on the Hoover Dam, using troops deployed adjacent to it. The attack will be in the form of a border war, influenced by our previous actions regarding the Mojave and the Dam. Oh, nice. Good. And this is why I sent my soldiers there already. Even if we use these guys, don't they have a little bit of armor? They do have armor. Do they actually have... They actually have more armor than our legionaries. Nice. Very nice. And they're so fast. Look at that. Flagstaff. Yes. <clears throat> Muy bueno. The Wolf of the Dam. We've lost in a thousand manpower now. Oh, good. Lord, that's not good. I, we could do that, but I want to see what happens between us and... Oh, the Battle for Hoover Dam. Stretching across the mighty Colorado has become the battleground between two vast forces today. On orders directly from Kaiser, the Malpius Legate himself is leading a massive force of legionaries and tribal auxiliaries in an attempt to seize a so-called Old World Wall from the hands of the NCR, who have held it since 2274 or Treaty of New Vegas. The legion, aided by its superior numbers and fierce obedience to orders, seems to have the upper hand in the clash, but will need to carry any momentum it against it from breaking through at the dam to secure it from counterattack. If they should succeed, the Mojave and the lights of Vegas will lay open for Kaiser to grab. Should they fall, the Malpais Legate may find himself in a difficult spot, and the NCR will retain their hold in the Mojave for a little while longer. Nobody will start stop Kaiser's march to his new row. Come on, guys, you got this. Like it, I've given you the best of the best that the Legion has to offer, and you took two bikes with you. Hmm. Can they actually pierce us? They might have anti-tank. Oh, crap, they might have anti-tank. They can pierce all my divisions. What the heck is that? The double-headed bear, huh? Lee Oliver, um... A shadowed Lee Oliver? I don't think so, but that's just me. And NP Restoration, and the Window Rock Restoration. The Navajo capital was once in a town called Window Rock. Although it's fallen into disuse since the Great War, we will work with the Navajo to build them a council chamber worthy of the people. We can even host our, our ambassador there. My apologies, I speak too fast sometimes. 
Oh, I thought I gave you the best, but perhaps not. Actually, I gave you these planes, did I not? Could you use them in a border war? I don't think you can. But I want to be wrong. Ooh, the Sun Dogs. The Black Sun. Oh, two for one deal, huh? Is that... Okay, so that's part of actually the North Mojave. Okay, that's good to know. And that's still a little bit... A wee bit two at a time. Research speed. Vacuum tubes. Here we go. Oh, Luggett. Do not lose. Luggett, no. I should not have given him the motorized... Fallout te Tribal Tech Leader. So we got this. We get 30% more piercing. That's not bad. Oh, come on, Luggett. It's a little bit ahead of time. Maybe you need some grillers. Anti-tank rifles. We'll get those just in case. Oh, Luggett, no. I can't even give him force attack. Maybe we should have just sent normal infantry then. Hey, at least one of those guys is retreating. That's good. Can you all just go in there? Hmm. <laughs> No, I don't think we're actually going to be able to win this. They are, like, doing... They're really just going to be killing themselves here. No, oh, oh, hold on. Well, it's not over yet. Not over until the last man is alive. Obviously, attacking Hoover Dam is not easy. Oh, no! The defeat of the dam! The cowards of the NCR have defeated our epic heroes with their, their combined arms tactics and enfilada fields of fire. We will be back, but this is a dark day for the Legion. The troops believe Mars deserted us. The battle for Hoover Dam. The old world hold. The Legion cannot even crack the Colorado. How do they expect to reach Shady Sands? They can't even take the well-fortified entrenched position with a clear f field of fire. Ha! Nothing will stop the Legion for long. That is so disappointing. That is so incredibly disappointing. I gave you the best of the best, and the Legate couldn't do anything. <sighs> now, I, now, let's see. I mean, technically, he should be he's earned some glory. He should be glorious, but well, technically, he should be much less glorious now after that. <sighs> now, that's super disappointing, but... What do we do here? There was... a this is, was a triumph of the bloodied bull. The price of failure. Oh, no. I wanted it to keep Joshua Graham. We lost the first battle of Hoover Dam because of the treachery of the rangers and their sniper rifles. But there's a reason we call it the first battle. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I really, I, hmm. Level 4 slavery decisions? Oh, man. We can become more brutal. I'm... Hmm. We can exploit slaves more? Oh, I'm so tempted. But I need to save manpower right now. If that's the case... Oh, I want to... Mm, what do I want to do? I want to do a lot of things, actually. I want to get rid of a lot of people here. We do need to talk about the White Leg situation as well. Can, don't we have something we go to war with, like, Las Granjas eventually, too? Like, over here. The Republic of the Rio Grande. Subject of another country. Stuff like that. So we can't do that. We need to do the 87th Tribe. Now, there's so many focuses we need to do. But... We might not be able to get mall pies like it. Oh, I don't know what the effects are going to be. A failure. Oh, I kind of have a good idea what they're going to be, though. Mm. Regardless. We'll do the best we can. Bloody mess. Division attack. Get some more entrenchment just in case. There you go. There you go. <sighs> oh, whoops. I let this run on without me doing more stuff in my bed. I, I want to go to war with more people, but at this point, we're kind of stuck to a degree. Oh, they were puppeted, huh? Oh, the sun dog's right there, too. Huh? I Nine fingers. I doubt they have a unique focus tree. Yeah. They don't, which is fine. Totally fine. The Navajo Traditional Energy Company. The Navajo revived a pre-war energy or engineering company to exploit the coal mines. Some of this coal will, of course, make its way to Flagstaff. Nice! Good job, guys. Good job. In a little cartel, Pecos. Actually, can we go to war for Pecos Colony? I'm not guaranteed by anybody. Let's see. Oh, we can eventually just slay the Titans. Taming the Rio. Ooh, wait. How does that Pecos resistance target? On the Republic of the Rio Grande's core territories? No. Gloria? No. We might just want to start justifying on them then. The price of failure with the de defeat of Hoover Dam, someone to take the blame, and it certainly would not be Kaiser. Malpias, this is your fault. No! This is the one guy we wanted to win! Ah! Tossing his, frust his trusted com comrade who brought the Legion victory over the ca Grand Canyon while he burns, while improved Kaiser's health. Surely the potential rival will never come back with an army of fanatic tribals who know the way of the Canaanite. No! No! Oh, man. I wanted the Legate to win. I really did. I gave him the best soldiers. I gave him everything that we could give him. Why? I gave him the Spec Ops forces. And we even have 
like, special, like, attack and stuff like that, don't we? Actually, that's not bad. Cult of Mars, that's looking much better. We don't get a penalty to civilian construction speed. Look at that. We got 5% more attack, 10% more defense, better recovery rate. Oh, man. Not pious. No. Not pious. No. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I really wanted him to win. That's my fault. It pains me the long war. God dang it. A second legate? We can appoint a new legate following Malpais' figure, but who? No, no, no! Oh, that hurts, that hurts. Uh, why? Why, Joshua Graham? Well, I guess we probably unlock some focus for the new Canaanites. They probably have, uh... Where's, where's Graham here? Well, they haven't lost yet, so... The Kaisar and the King. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry, man. I There was overwhelming support for the Mel Pius Legate to win, and I, I'm not sure what else I could have done there. I probably should have done our Land Doctrine more, but even then, like, I'm not sure what we could do there. We'll do Cult of Personality next, of course, but... Oh, that hurts. That pains me. My, my buddy. But we had to do what we had to do. Mm, God dang it. I'm just, I just want to go to war with people. I'm going to go to war with these guys. Screw it. 150 days, that's going to be a while, but that's totally fine with me. <sighs> Why? Yeah, at least we can raise this, but man. Why can't we blame, like, Vulpus? I know it's not his position for that, but still. Whoa, well, actually, I actually have quite a few things here. Wow. This is different. Build all that, and then build, 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 build. We want to build outside of Flagstaff. And then go ahead and start building up in... All oh, the infrastructure here really kind of sucks, not going to lie. Hmm. 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 I guess 50%. There you go. There you go. Get at least two going at the same time. And then maybe we'll make some military factories, maybe? <sighs> Industrial support, so be it. I didn't want to do that to him. I really did not want to do that to him. <sighs> Trade with the reservation for now. You could probably do that. If I were ambivalent, that's fine. Hmm. Second legate. I wonder who that's going to be. Hmm. So I'm so sorry. I wanted to go down with... We can't expect Mars to do all the work. Yeah. Got that one eventually. So, which means, some other day, some other campaign, I will, I will make sure that we actually get the legate, so... I promise you that. Well, I will play the Co Legion like a few times to get the Brotherhood of Mars path and the other path like Lucius, Vulpus, and stuff like that. So, the Burn Man. Oh yeah, the River Wars, the New Generation. Let's go ahead and do. That wouldn't be bad. I do need to go on the right side of that tree there. But let's do the 87th tribe. The Rome of old once conquered the tribe of Judea, or the province of Judea. Then Israel, where Christianity was born. The Mormons, building a new Canaan in Utah, seem to be inviting a new Judea upon themselves. The new legate. With Malpius' failure, we must determine that the Legion needs a new legate. Aurelius, Vulpus, and Lucius would all be uh, worthy of the role. But perhaps we should rely solely on Lanius. Legate Lucius has a nice ring. Aurelius knows best. To Vulpus, our loyal friend. Alright, so the Butcher will carve the NCR. I, I like that one a lot. So here's the deal. If I remember correctly, Malpius Legate had the absolute overwhelming support. But the second person in command there... Who got second amount of support was Vulpus. So I, obviously we're going to play, play with Vulpus now. But eventually I will do a campaign with Aurelius and then maybe Lucius and maybe even Lanius. I have no idea. So why did they even bother? We will deal with these god dang god forsaken gods forsaken rebels. All right, these are technologies. I'll do this a little later. You know what? Screw it. I want to do this now. I'll do one of these. Uh, let's do restore you my proving grounds. See what happens. Sun Doctor Annex, good job, Lanius. At least you can win your wars. Malpius Nugget. <laughs> cool. Ooh, dry well. Where's that? That's over the water. Weather. Oh, we've already tried a war there. Poston or Poston. I'm not going to fight over the river. There's no way I'm going to fight over the river. Kingmen. Uh, fine. Oh, this is going to not go well. That doesn't really matter. Can you win this battle? I mean, they can probably pierce us still. I mean, we must have caused a lot of casualties, or maybe they don't have enough equipment or something. Anti-tank, that'll be good for the future. Saws probably won't use you. I'm so sorry, guys. I really wanted him to win.
But next time. Probably next time. White legs clear warrant. New Canaan, nice. Ooh, that wouldn't be bad. Lift against. Uh, tax breaks for factories. Ooh. S expand slipways. More dockyard, huh? Ooh, we're, we're making quite a bit of bank now. Wow. Actually, do we have any organiza organizations around here? See, this is happening again. Yeah. Fighting this area. Fighting over river would be god awful. This is okay, but still not great. Like, I'm sure they've got a bunch of land ports, which we can't see, but I'm sure they've got plenty down there. Oh, man, that hurts. Painful. Why do they even bother? Phoenix awoke to a new set of crucifixes uh, in its public square this morning. As the leaders of the Phoenix plot stretched through the town square, along with their family, their children at least were spared. Their sons were sent to the Legion's barracks, and their daughters to the slave marts of Flagstaff. And the people of the Phoenix have learned a valuable lesson about why not to cross Kaisar. Praise Kaisar. Ooh, Fangrass. Oh, they have laser guns. Ooh, in stock, in stock, in stock. We've got plenty of money. We don't really care for this stuff, actually, too much. But you know what? Oh, we need 70 opinion, 70 opinion, 25 opinion. We can't even do stuff. Well, can't do that one. If I do this, the opinion goes up by a little bit more. That's a lot of money, though. Let's just do one. Cool. We did it once, so... Uh, we'll probably do s Savage Slaves for a Savage Land instead of the 80s. So, mm, Frumentary Friends. Max Volunteer Force Divisions. Divisions required for sending Volunteer Force. The same thing over there. Ooh, Chariots for the Gods. Ulysses Instruction. Let's go with Savage Slaves for a Savage Land. The White Legs obsessed with glory and finding meaning wish to join the Legion. We are not opposed if they can earn it. Wow, that's a lot of political power. Holy crap, what do I do with all that political power? I guess the Navajo Warriors, I suppose. The Missile Labs, might as well. Spawn two motorized units. Let's get all through these. Why not? Narbona. Who are you? Yeah, you guys are not as good as these guys. There you go. Train if you need to, because you need to. And we're out of manpower. Mm, I might seriously consider going up here, just because it doesn't make too much sense, probably. But... Getting up to here takes so long. Actually, how many dogs have we made? 320, that's not bad. Don't tell me we're actually going to win at the dam. Please don't tell me we're actually going to win there. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's go ahead and grab this one, too. And it's 2277 radio. Primitive radio. Come on, if you could win there, that'd be great and terrible at the same time. Maybe we should have just raided them earlier. Oh, we can trade more with the reservation, perhaps. The Khans want a truce. The great Khans, a tribe dominating the waste to the north of the Colorado and stretching into the Grand Canyon, have suffered at the hands of the NCR not long ago. The NCR troopers butchered the population of Bitter Springs, the principal settlement of the Khans, following the Khans' continued raids on NCR facilities and convoys. The Khans were able to replenish their ranks quickly enough, drawing new war bands from occupied populations across the area of influence, and now possess a burning desire to see the NCR dead. Further, the continued raiding of the NCR in the Mojave has given them a unique insight into the NCR's fighting styles. To put the cherry on top, an envoy from the Khans has recently approached us, requesting a neutrality pact. There seems to be no drawbacks, Kaisar. Should we accept their offer, we might be able to convince them to backstab the NCR. Accept them? These cons... They can have their place. Oh my god, are you serious? Are you are you flipping kidding me? Malpias like it couldn't kill them, but we launch a slave raid against them and we win? What? Wh are you kidding me? We had to get rid of the Malpias like for that, and yet... Who is this? Lucius? We should send Lucius against him. He won the battle against him. What the heck? That... Mm, that is not cool. But the White Legs accept their offer. The White Legs have responded to our petition th to them. They have agreed to assist us in our fight against the new Canaanites in return for alliance and acceptance into the Legion. Cool. So at least we got them. Weapons of war would be cool. Uh, conquest of New Canaan. Cool. Which will auto-bypass the White Legs gifts for Kaiser. Which one, what should we do? Should we do no new cohort? Should we do new auxiliary? Actually, we can't do that one. As well, travel. Yeah, we have to do new cohort or legionary Utah. This is the subject of Kaiser's Legion, because I had not done this one before. I'm pretty sure that'd be really cool. But I think we can do that if the White Legs are a puppet of us. Oh man, um, I don't know. Hmm. Down here, do we have options? No, we don't have to make choices, which is good. But uh how did we win? How did we win that? Ooh, the Great Chamber. Let's go and do just do the Two Suns Railway. 
Constructing a new railway connecting our capital with two suns territory is pivotal to economic growth in the region and will serve as a bedrock upon which we may which the de main developments and trade routes that one of Mexico's border region is sure to acquire will rest. Cool. But regardless, we will conclude today's episode there. I really apologize that we cannot get the Malpais Legate to launch or take over Hoover Dam, but we were with Abel, with Lucius, to get some slaves from them. I don't understand it. But regardless, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow, as we will hopefully go to war with the NCR and their treacherous subjects. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.